Deuteronomy 18.10 Lo yimatse vecha ma'avir veno uvito ba'esh kosem kesamim me'onen u menachesh u mekashef <clears throat> We've got some interesting words here that uh, come toward the end, but let's do the easy ones at the front first. We've got uh, low negation here, plus the nifal imperfect third masculine singular with that yod performative. Notice the ya vowel pattern here giving us that nifal. Verbal root is mem tzade aleph to find. So the third masculine singular here, again, is one we've seen before that's more generic. There shall not be found. There shall not be found. There's that passive nifal. Or it, we might say, is that third person. It shall not be found among you. But that it is much more generic. It shall not be found among you. Well, what is the it? A little more specifically now, we get a hifil participle of the verbal root ayin bet resh to pass through. And so as a hifil participle, it would be one who causes to pass through. And what he is causing to pass through would be his son or his daughter in the fire. So the idea here is one who causes his son or daughter to pass through the fire. In other words, one who sacrifices his son or daughter. That person is the it who may not be found in Israel. And then we get a few others here. We get another participle. This is a call participle of the root kof samik mem, and this would be to practice divination. And with the cognate noun here, it would be something like one who divines divinations, or we could put that together more idiomatically, one who practices divinations. Next, we get a, a polel. This is a polel participle now. The verbal root is ayin nun nun, so it's a geminate. That's why we get polel. It's functioning a lot like a pl here, but we have a polel. And the definition in this case would again be a substantive participle, so the one who uh, tells fortunes. Next, we get another participle. This is a PL participle now this time. The verbal root is nun chet shin, and this is going to be one who interprets omens. Again, that, that substantival participle, one who does the thing, one who interprets omens. And then lastly, we get another PL participle, this time kaf shin pei, and this would be uh, one who is a sorcerer. Uh, and so all of these together would be the collective it that shall not be found in you in Israel.